It's not often you eat standing up. I don't know why. It just, I, it actually stresses me out and I'm not the one doing <laughs> it. The mindful, mindfulness eating or mindful eating, what it's called, or the joy of eating. And it's about that thing of actually making time for your meals. Just got to go. And obviously, it's different things for different people. It's, good. it's a good line takeaway because everyone talks about food. Ah, I'm going to say, I'm trying to steer, my resolution this year is to steer away from takeaway puns, you see. Oh, just the puns, not the food. Inspiration <laughs> 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 Nation, hello, Lee Kemp here for another week on the podcast. I am here with Ryan, sadly Joe's not with us again this week. Um, got some personal stuff going on, um, lots of love and positive thoughts to you, Joe. We miss you. 100%. Um, I hope everything is okay. Um, so it's me and Ryan man in the ship for this week. Um, thank, as always, everyone for downloading, watching us on YouTube, listening at listen to I N, listen T O I N. Um, appreciate all the support. I'm also at the tail end of cold today, so if I trail off a little bit or I seem a bit groggy, this is why. <laughs> but I'm soldiering on like the hero that I am. Get him a medal. That's that's it. That is me. One second, I'll take a sip of water. <laughs> So, this week, um, what I want to talk about, and it's under the wide banner of mindfulness, but in particular, I'm going to talk about eating. So, this is a mindfulness tip from my mind, mindfulness book. Um, I was introduced to this concept a few years ago by uh, someone who was my boss at the time. Um, I wasn't really aware of mindfulness or, you know, the concept or the practice or anything about it. Um, and... I don't know, I was a bit sceptical when it was first introduced and I'd go to the point where I'd say now that actually I'm a really strong, I would say, advocate for this. Um, absolutely see the benefit. And in fact, one of the things I like to recommend to people is about practising certain features of mindfulness, you know, living in the moment more, concentrating on what's going on, not worrying about the past or the future. Um, and I, I do genuinely see huge benefits for it. Obviously, people out listening, we talked about this in various stages over the various podcasts. Loads of information out there you can you can um, find about this. But one thing in particular, and I realise that the opposite of this actually stresses me out, and I've never really linked it to a mindfulness thing before. Um, but one of the things I read about is is the um, mindful mindfulness eating or mindful eating, or what it's called, or the joy of eating. And it's about that thing of actually making time for your meals. Okay. Now, one one of my brothers does the opposite to this. Um, and I'm going to tell him I've talked about this on the podcast. And I, I call him out for it all the time. But many, many years ago, both him and myself were living at my dad's. Um, and in the mornings, he would get up, he'd get ready, he'd get dressed. He'd have about five minutes to leave, to leave the house. And he would pull a, pour a bowl of cereal stick some milk in it and he would stand up and he would eat the cereal and he would go <laughs> and that act of eating while standing up I don't know why it just I it actually stresses me out and I'm not the one doing it <laughs> stresses you out <laughs> okay, okay. And, I tell him, and I tell him this all the time I'm like I just can't stand it I said I, I don't get the eating as a function eating literally I have to eat something I'm just going to stand and eat it the possible, quickest possible time and I'm going to go mm-hmm because I like to enjoy what I eat, what I'm doing, stuff like that. Not to say that everything's a big, lavish, lavish affair or anything like that, but there's a bit more to it than just that standing, doing and going, that it's just done for the sake of doing it, if that makes sense. Yeah. Um, sorry, you were going to say? I was just going to say, I, it's not often you eat standing up, right? I can't think of many times where I'd eat stand. Maybe if I'm at a pub or doing another activity at the same time like i don't know being at a football game or um being out i guess but yeah i i find eating standing up a bit of a um odd entity in itself oh, so i'm glad you you're not in disagreement with me on it yeah. then, which is good <laughs> yeah and i say about this and he says he's just it's just got to do it he's just got to go and obviously it's different things for different people but i i think that's a great opportunity to whatever's going on however busy you are with things or whatever stress is going on or anything like that that's an opportunity where you've got and it might only be 10-15 minutes again not taking them in ages but where you've got opportunity just to stop what you're doing and you can genuinely just focus in on one thing that you're doing um, are, I was gonna say there is I have I quite often have a what I call a working lunch 
where I'll make something to eat, which is my sole focus. Um, I'll take 10, 15 minutes. I don't know if I'm cooking like some chicken or whatever, um, knock up some food, but then I'll come back and I'll do some light tasks maybe at work whilst I'm eating. Yes. Um, is that acceptable under this regime? <laughs> I would say so. I said it doesn't have to be for everything. In fact, I did exactly the same thing today. Mm. Um, and there is the, you know, in office days, there was a time to go and get or buy yeah. or whatever where the food was. Now it is the, the making it. And, and I normally stick some music or something on while I'm doing it. Um, and I do do the work and lunch thing, but I, and I don't, I'm not a huge breakfast person. So normally my breakfast same. consists of a cup of coffee, mm-hmm. but then for the evening, it will be time quite often it's in front of the tv but to enjoy what take take time to enjoy what i mean enjoy your food yep. take pleasure in what the don't just eat it without actually thinking what it is but is it something you like is there something about it you like mm-hmm. what is that you know and it's, I, I went back to my book to read some tips on this because it's got specific activities and stuff you can do it says you can even train train your brain to do this um in different ways of so, you know even something small you've got a snack think of something you really like to have and make sure you make some time for it and you acknowledge the time for it and you think about the time for it when you're having it and again it's all about just bringing your brain into focus making things a bit smaller even just for that little bit of time and taking that five minutes 10 minutes 15 minutes half an hour whatever it is for yourself but focus it you know it's not meditation time like joe got me to do that time um or anything like that it is it is built around what you're eating but you're really conscious about it and there's a bit if I'm honest, it's a bit far from me, but I'm still willing to give it a go where it's talking about even something simple with soup. Really take time to think about what, what you're having. So as you're sitting there eating, it, think about where the ingredients come from, the farmer in the field pulling the tomatoes, the whoever what they're called, whoever made the bowl, um, okay. the potter, um, and really taste what's there and think about the journey it's on and really take a chance to savour it. And I think that level of it, I don't know if that would, wouldn't work for me. I'm going to give a go thinking about it, but certainly what it is and me enjoying it and what it makes me think of in my life doesn't matter what it can be. But cheese and toast is my, my absolute most favourite thing, which is the least complicated thing in the world. But I could certainly take 10 minutes to really savour what I'm eating and just enjoy it. It's, it's all about just bringing down your stress levels, containing them. Like we like to talk about, it's a way of training your brain and compartmentalizing things. You know, whatever's going on, yes, it was before, it's still waiting for me there afterwards. This little gap in between, this is my moment to be mindful and considerate and, you know, take a moment for myself and enjoy literally just what's going on now. What am I tasting? What can I smell? What am I listening to? What am I watching? What in this moment is important before? that 10 15 minutes 30 minutes hour or whatever you allow yourself is up and you go back to what you were doing before yeah i think i think especially especially as i say nowadays but especially in the 21st century where you can have all sorts of information coming at you at any one point through your phone television uh, radio the internet whatever i think taking that time to kind of almost switch that static energy off like all the buzzing around you just you know kind of flick flick snap your fingers and turn that off and just focus on that that one thing um you could also be you could probably be treated as a bit of like a a, a reset i guess a bit of a bit of time to kind of if you've had a difficult morning or you've struggled with whatever then it, it's just time to be able to bring yourself back down and and, and kind of move through um i'm the yes. same as, i'm the same as you I, i'm i'm not a breakfast person um i often have a light lunch and and you know a, a standard dinner if you like um so it's uh, i think taking that time is is um is important i guess because it it, it just it gives you um uh, uh the, i want to say gratefulness but that's not the um that's not the word i'm after admiration maybe or respect or, or just kind of an understanding of, of kind of maybe what you have in comparison to maybe some others um and kind of you know what, what you're what you've done or you know the journey as you say your food's been on like um yeah. the bread if you're, having, if you're having bread with your soup using your example kind of where did that bread come from where did the um the metal spoon come from that you're that you're eating the the soup with or drinking the soup depending on what side of that fence you sit on um 
it's definitely drinking by the way um and uh and yeah i think just just being aware of those things and that kind of gives you a, a bit more of um an open mind to to kind of being respectful to things that maybe you didn't acknowledge before so a lot of people take a lot of things for granted and i think having the uh, um taking the time to really be grateful and, and understanding where things come from just kind of means that you can um just you know be, be be grateful for what for what you have as well it does i mean you said you're not sure it falls under it but it definitely does i think it is under that kind of gratitude banner of what you talk about there and doing it which is exactly right the thing it talks about as well where um if we're reading on this is and he titles it he calls it it says eating for pleasure which i think might be what we title this episode um but it says about quite often eating could be a stress reaction mm -hmm. so if you've got a lot going on you're busy you're stressed and body is a you know it's if you're feeling busy or stressed you're in that fight or flight mode has happened when you've got a lot going on your body doesn't know why it just knows it's in that sort of state and what you tend to do is then crave certain foods for that so if you think you can need loads of energy for whatever it is you just go carb heavy generally i just crave carbs and whatever i'm doing anyway but you but your eating can be very pushed by that and if you are you know your eating becomes a stress reaction that's what you know can lead to overeating or eating habits all those sort of things and again it's about breaking out it's about separating it and actually if you separate eating into that that break away from everything you can start to moderate what you eat more so you can put healthier things in there because you're not eating as that fight or flight stress reaction to whatever's going in your life and actually you know reduce portion sizes, in, improve healthier things, making conscious choices about what you're eating for yourself rather than, you know, carbs or sugar, whatever it is that, that gets you through the day. Always bad habits. I know I certainly do have, and I'm going to start thinking about this a bit more, uh, maybe in, in step into it, but being really conscious that, you know, you're eating because you enjoy eating. And that doesn't, that's not quantity. That is quality focused as well. Um, and to build that in rather than that, oh, just, I've got to get something, what have I got? I'll just eat this, right? Go, 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 and continue. Um, and again, it's, it's, you have to, you know, you've, you've got to brain train yourself to, to switch that focus, but really have that mentality, maybe at the start of the day or for a week, you plan out what you're going to have so that when that time comes, the right sort of stuff's in place for you. Mm -hmm. And you can take that step out and make, you know, the healthier choice. Doesn't even have to taste healthier it could be the tastier choice the thing that you like rather than the thing your body's craving because it thinks it's gearing up for a fight in the afternoon because you're stressed because you got three reports due and you're not sure when you're going to get them all done and all that other good day-to-day -day stuff that happens yeah yeah for sure i think just it kind of allows you to take control back of of that's yeah that's a of, good word of your it. life as well maybe in in some context it kind of allows you to be in control of kind of what you are eating and not just being dictated to by what um is just available um yes you know a lot of a lot of dietitians and personal trainers and nutritionists will always well, will advocate kind of meal prepping and 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 kind of planning that out so that kind of fits in with um a healthy eating advice plan as well um yeah yeah i i, I like the sound of that look at that i like it when you're on board with my my type of advice usually i argue with you no i'm joking <laughs> but i've got there's a few especially for new year there's a few people i know who are really pushing on the gratitude thing and writing down three things they like every day or starting to do some journaling and stuff mm. like that and it's it just made me want to revisit a bit of the mindful stuff so i've been to do a bit of reading last few weeks and i think i said the eating for the concept of eating for pleasure rather than necessity i think is a really good anchor for that because we all have to eat we all really enjoy eating when we get the time to do it. And actually, can you take that step just to carve out that little bit of time? And say so that doesn't necessarily mean you get rid of the idea of working lunches when you need it and stuff like that. It might just be for dinners. It might, again, you can do that while you're doing it. Just building those little steps about, you know, what do you like about it rather than what the necessity is, I think. Yeah, yeah, in, for sure. In, as Joe would say, that would be my takeaway. It's good. That's a good line takeaway because we're talking about food. <laughs> Ah, uh, so I'm trying to steer up. My resolution for this year is to steer away from takeaway puns, you see. Oh, just the puns, not the food. <laughs> Definitely <laughs> not. <laughs> on the subject of which, and I'll give a quick update. Obviously, I said about this, This we talked on the New Year's one. Again, people haven't listened to go back in the archive, talked about this structure and day thing. I have since 
I'm going to say the sixth. I've been struck with an absolute awful cold. So actually, rather than getting up at my usual time and then building in a bit of structured time and a hit in the day, I've been I've been kind of I would say sleeping in, sleeping in and starting work at night, which for me is sleeping in. So I haven't really been able to start my restructured bit yet. But I think I'm I'm on the um definitely on the back end of this horrible cold. So I should look to uh start pushing on my resolution a bit and give some updates over the next couple of weeks, I would think. I can advocate for Lee here because that is genuinely the first time in four or five years of knowing you that you said you started work at nine. It's a very weird concept for me. Like I, I don't think I'm comfortable with it. I can't lie. <laughs> I'm not comfortable with it. <laughs> um, that just goes to show <laughs> so how, li- how little Lee does in a day. Sleep. No, I'm joking. <laughs> I'm joking. Um, yeah. And that's also important, right? Being mindful that, that sometimes you need to make concessions to look after yourself. This is it. And I think I've probably still been pushing a bit on things where I could recover a bit quicker, but it is that conscious decision of I just need to get over this as quickly as possible so I can start, you know, doing what I want to be doing again rather than just kind of soldiering on from thing to thing, like the trooper that I am with my cold. On the subject of food, my mum always used to give me a good bit of advice and it was um, you feed a cold and you starve a fever so make sure that you're eating eating plenty on because of that advice i will most definitely make sure that that is what i do look at that changing lives out here i'm changing lives cheese and cheese and bread that's right that's the things to help isn't it soaks up all of the the germs in your stomach (laughs) i'm making stuff up as i'm going along here this is certified doctor's advice people certified doctor's advice I'm like Dr. Brilliant, Nick right. Riviera with all the fake uh, <laughs> medical certificates on my wall. Hi, everybody. <laughs> Simpsons reference for those that don't get it. You have to explain that these days. Yeah, I guess you do. I guess you do. I introduced my kids to the wonder of the Simpsons over Christmas. I'm not sure they were too impressed. They hadn't seen it before? No. Oh, I'm so old. <laughs> oh, woe is me. So you're starting to feel like I feel now. <laughs> yeah. Right, any more thoughts or additions to add in, Ryan? Otherwise, I think you can get to your social life and I can get back to dying on the sofa. No, it's all good from me. Thank you very much. Excellent. Well, thank you for that. Hopefully, there's been some good tips and advice for people out there. Um, love to hear your feedback. Just follow us over and listen to N at listen T O I N on Twitter. Leave us a comment. We'd love to know your thoughts on the show. If you like what you're hearing as well, um, leave us a review. YouTube podcast player, wherever you are, hit that five star button. Really helps us grow the show. Um, again, sending lots of um, lots of loves, Joe Way. Lots of love, Joe's way. Um, hopefully, you'll be back here with us on the show. But we are here for you, mate. In the meantime, hundred um, percent. I think all that's left to do is now count us down. Oh, no, I forgot this is how much the cold's hitting me. Everyone out there, head over to inspirationnation.org.uk, tap in your web browser now, Inspiration Nation merchandise, full details of coaching service, Joe's newsletter, all over there, inspirationnation.org.uk. And one more time on social media, at listen to I-N, listen T-O-I-N. I will finally count us down and we'll be back again next week. Three, two, one. Inspiration, Inspiration Nation. Nation. Catch you guys later. Catch you guys later. So I want to know now what's your biggest takeaway. Don't forget to hashtag it with Inspiration Nation in the comments below and make sure you commit to action. Right, thank you for checking it out. So you can catch all our other Inspiration Nation podcast episodes right over here. So go check them out. Also, don't forget to subscribe because that will tell you when your next video goes live by you hitting that amazing bell. So until next time, it's Inspiration Nation and I'll see you right over there.